All right, so this is a review, a reaction, whatever you want to call it, on Backchat episode, whoa, well, season five, episode three, yeah? All right, so as usual, we're going to start with the actual question, then we're going to break down what happened and this, that, and the third, and then whatever. We just, we just flow with it, we just flow, we just flow, we just flow, yeah? Um, but yeah, let's just get into the question, yeah? So the question, yeah? Is what your son? Hold up. So let me just rewind. Your son, who is 16, 17, asks you if he can invite his male friend over for his birthday dinner. After searching his social media, you find out his friend is actually his boyfriend, but your son hasn't come out as gay. What do you do? You see, the problem here, yeah. This is a hypothetical question. I'm going to repeat that again. This is a hypothetical question. Meaning, you are fucked up either way because you cannot fucking answer it unless there is some level of truth to it, if that makes any sense. So basically, if you already have a son, that is, if you had gone through this scenario, then that's when you can answer it. Or if you know someone who's going through that, then you can answer that. Do you see what I'm saying? Otherwise, you can't really answer it. Because they're asking, what would you do? Do you have a 16 to 17 year old son that is, you know, um, that has a male friend that wants to invite that male friend over for dinner? Have you gone on his social media and have you seen, you know, the um, that it looks like that he, they're more than just friends. You know what I mean? What's your answer? Leave your answer in the comment section below. What is your answer? Because from this date, from when I uploaded this video, from when I was first watching this video, on the 20, no, what, what could I say 20? It's, let me think, it's the uh, 6th, yeah, the 6th of, of uh, I saw the video on the 5th, so uh, 5th of May 2021. And I saw and I react. I recorded this video on the sixth of May, twenty twenty one. So I don't have a sixteen year old, seventeen year old like that. You know what I mean? Now, whether I have a sixteen year old, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If a woman's gonna come out and let me know that, I would. I need a DNA test <laughs> first and foremost. But um, other than that, so there's the problem right there. It's a hypothetical question, right? Now, here's the other thing. Because it's a hypothetical question, this is one of the things that I actually, as much as this sounds really crazy to say, this is one of the reasons why I also do like back chat at the same time. It's because they're going to come with a vibe of just letting you know that raw. You know what I mean? Like, how do I put it? You're going to, go, you're going to see some heated exchanges, basically. You know what I mean? And for some reason... It's entertaining to watch extra, uh, heated exchanges from time to time. It is what it is. Um, yeah, this, remember, this is just entertainment. It's not for intellectual debate. If it was for intellectual debate, then fair enough. But it's just entertainment. So people relax. All right, relax. If, if you do hear someone say something, if you do hear someone say something intelligent, then fair enough. If you don't, then don't, don't sweat it. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But yeah, so um, yeah, so what I saw first of all in this this particular episode was bullying. Yeah, this is what I saw. I saw bullying because they all had an NK. Yeah, Goddard Phillips, Brandon. He's in a fucking orange, but also he's wearing like a fox. Like, why are you wearing a fox? Like, reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't need to explain myself to you. And what was the reason? <laughs> are you wearing a fox? But yeah, like, I don't get it. Why? What? 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 What, what is the purpose? Anyway, and then everyone else, like the women as well. 
they were also coming on to Emmanuel like for his what he would do. This is what he would do. Do you understand? It's what he would do. Like the question, as much of it's a as much as it is a hypothetical question, yeah, he answered the question. Do you see what I'm saying? And because the majority didn't agree with what he would do, they all now jumped on him to, you know what I mean? Like what trying to get him to explain more, to turn the third to try and like it seemed like they were trying to get him to stop saying what he was saying and just say, you know what? Let me have the same opinions of what I would so basically, how can I put it? What everyone else would do, they wanted Emmanuel to do this do that. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it just don't make sense. Oh shit, that hurt. didn't really hurt, but yeah. Um like, when I say it hurt, I think you know, you know when you when you, you do something like that, right? When you just accidentally knock your arm or whatever, you the initial thing is, oh that should hurt, but it don't hurt. I don't know. Or sometimes you would knock your feet on something or and you're like, oh, ouch. But it didn't hurt. Like, huh? I mean, yeah, you probably hit the, the pain probably throbbing for a bit or for a few seconds, but don't mean to say it hurt. Anyway, let me continue. Anyway, so basically, um, where was that? Where was that? Ah, oh, I forgot what I was. All right, so basically, it's a hypothetical question and obviously Emmanuel answered, right? So the bullying came into place when everyone else was disagreeing with his, of what he was doing. Now, this is where there's a major, major problem here. Just because someone doesn't agree with what you would do or your opinion, it's okay. Like, seriously, it's okay for someone to have a difference of opinions, yeah? And, and, this is, and he was right, yeah? That it does feel like they're trying to push their agenda. And not only just that, he also mentioned that in the workplace, what they would do they would put this and that, like like badges or leaflets or whatever the case is. And it's like, like we get it. It's not like, uh, where I disagree with him in regards to creating awareness, because it does create awareness. It does create awareness because you're, you're now seeing it. Now you're talking about it. You see what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it, it, it does feel like they're pushing the agenda. Pushing the, um, and whether right or wrong, I don't know. My, my thing is, people are entitled to live the life that they want, so long as they are of adult age to be able to make that decision for themselves. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Now, um, now whether I agree with his opinion or what he would do, I'm not gonna say that. What I'm gonna say is this, because I'm not trying to try to be, be the one that try to put, be, say things that are safe, so people don't try and cancel me or whatever. No one could cancel me but God. And God, God would attempt to cancel me anyway. He would just redirect me into something that is bigger and better. That's where I look at my life or look at life in general. So the point I'm going to make is at the end of the day, he, like with God there as well, the, the problem I had with him is, all right, let me address each individual, right? Well, I say each, but some of them that I remember that stood out. So Goddard Phillips, he is the antagonizer. That brother is an antagonizer. That's it. He's the antagonist of the cast. He's the antagonist. You know why I know he's the antagonist? Because if you look in if you look at every type of show, yeah, there's always gonna be one that's an antagonist. Yeah? But anyway, whether you like him or dislike like him or not, there's always gonna be one. And he's the antagonist. He, what he does, or what he did in this particular episode, he flipped someone else's words. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, that's not what she was saying. I forgot what it was, but it wasn't what she was saying. And I thought, like, oh, this is, why is he doing this? Like, he's trying to create arguments out of nothing, out of nothing. Like, why? I get it. I get it. Do you know what I mean? To make the show a lot more entertaining, you need someone like him. Point by period, you, you need someone like him, yeah. Now, the other problem I had with him was this whole victim mentality 
where he's saying he was feeling offended. Now, don't get it twisted. Everyone has a right to feel how they want to feel, yeah? But the fact of what um, what Emmanuel was saying, how can that put make Goddard Phillips feel, you know, like a victim or whatever the case is? You know what I mean? Or feel, or feel be in his feelings or whatever the case is. Because he's saying if it was his son, the question is to do with son. Like if it is your 16 to 17 year old son. So why are you getting offended? Like, and the fact that he's trying to mention, oh, my existence just shouldn't, just don't affect, like, he's not talking about you. This is well, and then Brandon Ike, cool, fair enough. I, I like the fact that in, he's more, he was more open in this episode. At, well, for, for ob well, not obvious reasons, but like, hear me, like, that's good to see. You know what I mean? I want to see and hear more cast members, you know, speak this, speak. You know what I mean? Like, speak. Get me? Speak with passion. Get me? Like, I like that. Um, but he said something very informative in the previous episode, if I, if I remember correctly. But I, no, in the first episode. But I literally forgot what his name was. Like, I literally forgot his name Name was. But now I know his name is Brandon. Um, yeah, so then he mentioned in the episode about um, how he came out just at the third. All right, cool. Fair enough. You did your thing, bro. You did your thing. But, like, again, it seemed like he was trying to um bully Emmanuel. But then here's where some of who was it? I forgot the girl's name. I know she's Nigerian. Um is it Ade Fodeke? Is it her? I can't remember. Is it her? I don't know if I'm mispronouncing her name. I'm not even too sure right now. But the point is she 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 asked a really wild question. Well, which was it had nothing to do with the actual hypothetical question yeah you know what she asked she asked if she asked Emmanuel if your son were to get married and he would turn and he was gay or whatever would you go to his wedding and guess what his answer was no so if his answer is no but he still he still accepts him he still tolerates him or didn't say tolerate but accept but he doesn't agree with that, so why should he want to? Why should he have to feel the need to turn up? And they're saying, "Oh, the son may feel the way." No, you don't. You don't know. If they could come to a, a mutual understanding, you know what I mean. Like you don't know the bond that a, a son would have with a father. You don't know what an individual may go through. You don't know what will happen or may not happen. But again, this is a hypothetical question, and I genuinely do not like. I, like when people ask me hypothetical questions. I remember this one girl I was or well, well, woman I was seeing, this is like a few years ago. She would always ask me these these hypothetical questions. You know what I always tell her? Don't ask me no hypothetical questions. I'm not answering them. And then she would she would keep on trying to prompt and prompt and prompt and prompt and prompt. I'm like, I'm not answering. Change the subject. I'm not answering it. You know what I mean? So so obviously she would change the subject, boom boom boom. But you know what I mean? It's like, I don't do hypothetical questions. I'm not going to give you a hypothetical answer. I, I can only give you a solid based answer based on a particular information and all that face, like with evidence and all that stuff there. Like it, everything depends on certain situations, in it? But if it's like a, let's just say, anyway, let's not get into my personal situation. Let's get back on topic. So yeah, it's just nuts to me how with this particular um you know the how they take one subject and then they extend it to another thing asking which is which is cool don't get it twisted i kind of like that at the same time simply simply because it adds more entertainment value to it and then there was one um and then the ezo she meant something that was very smart you know what i mean like i respected her opinion especially because you're talking from a cultural perspective as well on how she was raised and this that and the third do you see what i mean so this is what's so man how can they respect and everyone was quiet and respecting her hurting yeah but not 
when it came to to Emmanuel because he said more or less the same thing like he literally did like when I deep it on the clock in he literally said more or less the same thing the only difference is he never added uh, what Ezra was saying that like, I wish you know the son would have come to him but you know what I mean like there's, there's a difference in, in how it's articulated like obviously from a woman's perspective well from a woman's perspective whatever they're gonna want to have that nurturing you know what I mean from a man's perspective like it's a different vibe I don't to explain it like you can it is what it is um and then and then there was this other thing that really irritated me as well like I, I do not, I, I, although I speak the English language and sometimes I may be anti-English or whatever sometimes it's like, hold up, the word deceit and the word lie mean the same thing, yeah? They more or less mean the same thing, yeah? Like, this, if your son is lying to you, let's flip it that way if you are lying to your parents yeah, by saying that that you want to have a friend over for your dinner, for your birthday dinner, and on your social media you are showing that that person is more than a friend. That is called deceit. Because you are being deceitful towards your parents. Yeah, simple as plain. Rather than just letting your parents know, all right, listen, I've got my, my partner or whatever, can they come along blah 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 you see what i mean that's being truthful there's a there's a clear difference now no one knows why this is the other thing everyone's trying to uh to, to jump on board and say possibly this is the reason why they never they never told their parents blah 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 like we don't know it's a hypothetical question there's a it's a hypothetical question so we don't know and then the other thing that was that was bare jarring to me as well was NK like he was trying to do the most the, he was coming with the most the most to try and not get himself cancelled he wants to wants to agree like I I don't want to say I hate people like that but I like people that for people especially on this show to just be real just be yourself all right like get me just be yourself like if 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 you know you don't disagree, I don't know, it's weird. Sometimes you want to say, someone should say something, someone should have said something, I don't know. But he was doing too much. You know what I mean? Like, what's all this? You know what I mean? Like, calm down, bruv. Calm down. Calm down. Have some, like a pe have a pack of Skittles, bruv. If that helps you. Like, calm, maybe he was hyped on Skittles. I don't know, because sometimes the like, sweets can give you that. Hyperactive, hyperactive energy in it, but yeah, like I don't know, like it's to me he was doing too much. He didn't. It was it was unnecessary. It wasn't essential for him to move, be moving like that. Like it just he was unnecessary. Like, and I can I don't want to say uh, you know I don't want to be saying anything else, but yeah, and also, um, is it Shalala? I don't know, I may be mispronouncing her name. Like, she mentioned how her parents, with her parents' situation, how she would lie to her dad because he, her dad would try to, try, try to rule with fear or something like that, try to control with fear or something like that. But then she would lie, I don't know, she would tell her truth to her mum. Now, this is the thing. If you're going to lie to your parents, don't do it. Don't, don't lie to your mum or your dad. And just because what well, he's trying to rule by fit. Like, the, the funny thing is, when you lie, here's the other thing I'm going to mention as well. This is what I need to be, what I need to 100% mention. My foster mom told me something that was very, very interesting. You know what she told me? Don't lie to me. Because if you lie to me, whatever you need help with, I cannot help you. That's as simple as it's going to get. If you lie to your parents, or if you lie to anybody, yeah, 
that you know that can help you, then they can't really help you because you're omitting information, the right information. So you might as well just be upfront and honest. Like, there's been several times when my first mother told me that. I won't, I won't lie, that, that's the truth, like, it's the truth. But whenever I would tell the truth, you know what I mean? She would help me. And more time, I'm, I won't say I'll be less in trouble, but the trouble that I thought I would be in, it wasn't as much as I thought it would be. You see what I mean? You know what I mean? So maybe it would be 10 times worse if I did lie. But if I, the fact that I told the truth, hear me, the truth does set you free. You hear me? It really does set you free. Um, and you get a true peace of mind. So, and at the same time, with all these things that's going on, like, cause she said she would go, she would go to this particular place and then afterwards she will go somewhere else. But her mom would know where she's at, but her dad wouldn't. And it's like, huh? Hold up. So if something happened to her, cause let's be real, there's a lot of things that happen to women out there, unfortunately, yeah? And we, we try to put an end to that. But the problem is, if you lie to your parents, and something happens to you, you know what I mean? Like, like whose fault is it? It's your fault because you are lying to your parents about where where your whereabouts are. At least if you told the truth, your parents know where you are. And if something was to happen or something was about to happen, they at least have that 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 mindset where I, could, where I know where they're at. Do I know? Do you know what I mean? And look how many people are going missing these days. And I know there's boys that go missing too. Don't get it twisted. But anyway, let me let me not go off into a tangent. Yeah. And it's mad her saying that, knowing that she said that she has a, a two year old, and then she and then she's also expecting as well. So it's like my thing is like raw like you're really obviously that's your experience like so she, you can tell your experience in it but i'm pretty sure she wouldn't want her her children to lie to her you see what i mean or one you know what i mean her children to lie to the father of her children i'm pretty sure i don't know but anyway let's get back into the video um oh well, i'm already back into the video i'm talking about it but overall i'm gonna say with this this this, this topic it's hard to really uh navigate because it's a hypothetical question, but the the drama that was in it was hella entertaining. Um, I definitely, I definitely say watch it if you haven't. Um, just also bear in mind this is just entertainment. Don't take whatever anyone says serious. Um, and um, yeah, it's it when you even though we're only episode three in, I can tell the type of cast. I know I can tell the type of characters certain individuals are. So, um, yeah, like God, God, Phillips is one hundred percent the antagonist. Yeah, one hundred percent the antagonist. Lonnie wasn't there, but she definitely Esther. You know what I mean? Uh, was Joseph there as well? I don't think he was. No, he wasn't. But he's definitely Lucas. Um, uh, Emmanuel. He's between. Go go and Max. I don't know why I'm trying to compare to compare like that, but I would like to see the, the, some old cast members come back as well. Get me? But if you could think of cast, old cast members to come back in this series in this season, which ones would you like to see? Leave your answer in the comment section below. But anyway, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.